Yeah, Debbie has real, real broad shoulders, very muscular looking. Kind of a swagger as she steps in. These girls look at punching right away. Albright with a long reach advantage, lands a straight right hand. Purcell with some leg kicks, ties up now, clinching from inside. A couple of small kicks. There's a good thigh kick. And like a couple it. of straight hands landing on the chin of Albright, but Albright with a big uppercut and coming over the top with a right hand. Now, like we said, there is a 30 pound size advantage to Albright. Debbie Purcell nailing her a couple times oh. now with the takedown. Debbie, I, Debbie Purcell on top. I, she was, she, you know, she seemed to be stronger in the clinch game. Nicole landed a couple of shots inside and did have a reach advantage, but Debbie Purcell got off some shots too. What do you think she's going to work from here? Uh, Debbie is a, a well-rounded fighter as far as I know. She does have some submission skills. She has very good balance from the top, from the guard, as well as the mount. I was going to say earlier she was landing a couple blows there on Albright. However, the size advantage definitely showed up. She hit her with a couple clean shots, but obviously Albright too big to really uh, be affected by him. She shook him off very well. She's holding position on top here. Looks like she, I'm not sure if she's passed. Oh, she's still in a half guard position. Yeah, Debbie does. But it looks have like a half she guard. might work from here. She's landing over the top blows to the face of Albright underneath, backed up against the cage. And I think Purcell's content to work inside the half guard where she really still has a dominant position that she can get off some shots. Yeah, a veteran of the fights that she is, Debbie Purcell is uh, going to be very, very patient. And I think with a couple girls out there, it's going to be very unlikely that we are going to see a knockout. Therefore, I really believe that cardio and physical fitness is going to play a major role in the determination of this fight. Well, physical fitness is something that Debbie Purcell is definitely not lacking in that department. Yeah, it looks like she, she has stepped straight out of a bodybuilding contest. She has big arms, big shoulders, very, very strong girl. Definitely can uh, lay it down. Oh, and I'm not sure if they're calling the fight or they're starting for a lack of action. Oh, Herb Dean standing up. Here comes the action. Oh, and a kick. Debbie Purcell went high, got backed up by the much bigger Nicole Albright. Yeah, Debbie and now going for that Muay Thai kick to the head, and it looks like Albright just caught it and stepped in, took her down, Purcell. up against the cage. Debbie Purcell on her back now. She's lifting her guard up high. It looks like she's going to attempt a triangle. Albright really has a lot of size on her. Yeah, 30, uh, 30 pounds or so, especially when you only weigh 140 pounds to begin with. There's a uh, big mountain stacked against you. And you talk about 30 pounds different when you look at the heavyweights, a guy who's 220 fighting a guy 250, that's, that's not so much to overcome. However, when you're about 140 pounds and your opponent's 170, that is definitely a big difference. Well, Debbie Purcell was insistent upon fighting. She's got a fight tonight here against a tough opponent. Uh, she looks like she's gonna get the, the leg trip here, double leg, she reversed position now, backing Albright against the cage. Debbie getting up, climbing up the cage on her back, turned it around, now holding Albright up against the fence. Looking for some knees there. They are clinched. You see Albright now reversing position. It looked like Debbie was going to attempt the inside leg trip. Definitely not a lackluster for the first women's fight in King of the Cage. Oh, exciting action. action. And now. Purcell unleashing knees to the midsection. Return fire from Albright. And Albright, earlier today, she looked intense. She said she was taking this very seriously. And she knows she's up against a tough opponent, Debbie Purcell. That's right. Now, Debbie does have the underhooks. However, she is in slight danger of possibly going to a guillotine, pulling her head out. Now, Albright punched her square in the face with a big straight, overhand right. Great right hand by Albright. Tough girl. Purcell locking the clinch tight. She wants to bring knees to the top, to the chin of uh, Albright. She lands an inside forearm strike to the face. Yeah, Debbie, like we said, uh, a Valley Tudo student using all parts of her body to strike. Forearm, elbow, knees, punches, and kicks. I'm sure if the, the rules didn't allow it, she'd even headbutt somebody. <laughs> She's definitely game for anything in the fight game. Oh, and another there she goes. takedown. She gets the takedown, Akira Shoji style. Hooking the leg around the outside, Debbie from the clinch position, taking down Albright. 
trying to get that side mount, possibly work for a head and arm choke or some type of arm bar. And I think that's the end of the round. Great first round of action. Wow, Chris. exciting bout. Hard to say who would be the winner there. I mean, they both exchanged some big blows. I think Albright actually landed a couple of bigger right hands. However, you know, there were some big knees by Purcell, and she was able to control, and uh, she also got all the takedowns in that first round. All right, round two is starting. Once again, back on their feet. We're going to see who's going to score. Debbie shooting in on her. Double A leg nice, takedown. Nice double leg, traditional wrestling style. Very good for him. Keep her head up and over now. Over the top, land some solid blows. Take it. Oh, and a good shin kick to the side of Albright's head. Albright hanging in there, but she's stuck in that clinch by Purcell. Now banging away with shots to the upper thighs and midsection. It looks like Debbie's starting to overcome that weight. Possibly Albright getting tired as the round goes on. Once again, back to the clinch. Debbie seems to be in control. Clinching Albright's head, pulling it down, trying to get a knee up in there, possibly. She's really got Albright in an uncomfortable position there. Oh. Al Albright looks gassed. Purcell still on fire. Lands a short kick to the thigh. Something to make Marco Huas proud, kicking a much larger opponent in the thigh, similar to Marco and Paul Verlins in UFC history when Marco won the championship. You remember when Marco was uh, winning his first UFC champion that way, championship. Chopped down the big tree. <laughs> And look at the size difference when they stand next to each other. Very, very noticeable. Debbie with another shin kick to the thigh. She eats her right hand. Albright firing back, though. She's looking a little gassed, but she's definitely not out. Purcell going to have to be careful. Another one, the fourth or fifth kick there to the leg. We'll see how long she's able to stand. However, Albright is content to take those punches while delivering those right hands over the top. You see now, this is where it counts. Conditioning matters. It's the final minutes of the last round. Once again, back to the clinch, however, Debbie. Looking for some more knees, possibly again. She has the underhooks. Look for her to try to hook the leg for another takedown, if she, possible. She's got the hug, and she's backing up her opponent now. Is she going to go for the takedown? There she goes. She's taking her opponent's back now. Uh, Look out. This could be trouble. All oh, by, all she's going for a leg tired. trip. Uh, Albright switches position now. Nicole Albright definitely looks to be gassed or on the way to being gassed, letting Debbie get the back there momentarily without much of a fight there. Once again, though, great fight. The <laughs> first girls to fight in the king of the cage, and these ladies are doing a wonderful job. Oh, it's been a war. More knees delivered to the legs by Debbie Purcell. You know, my unofficial scorecard, I've got Purcell slightly ahead on uh, both rounds right now. I would have to agree so far. Her, her ringmanship, you know, controlling the fight, controlling the speed of the fight. When she wants to stand, they stand. When she wants to take the fight to the ground, that's what happens. Squaring each other up, these two ladies are. I would expect another kick from Debbie Purcell to the thigh of Albright. And Albright has that oh. great spinning back fist attempt by Debbie Purcell. She's still hammering away with shots to the midsection, the knees right there. She almost landed one on the chin. I think that would have been lights out for Albright. The reverse spinning punch. And Purcell just looks a lot stronger than Albright. And, and her range of weapons is uh, more broad so far. With the, the tie kicks, you know, I, I haven't seen Albright throw one kick so far. You know, that reverse spinning back fist. The knees to the head and the legs. Oh. Now she has the back. She's got the back. Let's see if she can finish this time. Oh, attempting a submission here. Looks like she's going for a heel. Debbie working for those ankles, trying to get a heel hook. She wants now. to finish this fight. She doesn't want to let it go to the judges. And she's cranking away on the heel. She's eating some leather here. Now but Al she's got it tight. Albright's doing the right thing. She's sat up into Debbie and trying to keep Debbie... Close enough in range to hit her. Oh, now reversing now it. Now Purcell coming over the top. Let's see if she lands big right hands. And there goes a few. Trying to escape out the back door. There's Nicole Albright. Pushed away. Albright kicks to the face with the shoe. Not allowed. She's going to receive a caution for that. These girls definitely going at it. Great action here. 
you know, the promoters were wondering how this fight would go, and they thought that if the fight went well, we might see a women's card or a women's fight on the next pay-per-view card November 1st. Well, I have a feeling we might see more women's fights here at Sabobas for sure. Well, if the girls... Oh, if good right-hand action. Debbie Purcell landed a good combination there. Both these fighters looking tired. Debbie throwing the switch kick now. Into the closing seconds of round two. And you know, with all the hype that Purcell had behind her, Albright's put up a great fight. Great fight. I, I have to applaud these two ladies. Great, great fight. First women's fight here ever at King of the Cage. And it was a great fight at that. Debbie Purcell having a war with Nicole Albright. And once again, my unofficial scorecard, I really think Debbie dominated both rounds. Albright was in there the whole fight, but she didn't do enough damage the way that uh, Purcell was definitely controlling the bout. <laughs>